Have you ever witnessed an accident? Have you ever witnessed such a downfall, such a collapsing hell? Have you ever witnessed one of the most unforgettable parts of your life? Because once, one day on March the 10th, 2018, a gigantic accident happened. Edward had been, Wendell had been going through a crossing under a tall layer bridge, which was a which was a new assessment for the railway. Anyway, as as he was there, a car crashed, and the dri- and the driver was a little injured. The driver, John. How it was going to take him away when Edward came on the top part of the bridge. There was a huge buckle in the track, and Edward's car soon derailed. When Wendell's fireman went, who he had been named after, the Dell, uh, it was part. It was part of the name of his old railway. Anyway, Wendell st- stayed on. Uh, Wendell w- had been had been there, and and his fireman was sitting there when he shouted out to John that he thought because the back part of the bridge had already collapsed and they had to take the the driver of the car out, they took him away and the pillars had collapsed on one side. Then the pillars in front of Wendell w- were about to collapse. When they did, when. Wendell's fireman suddenly jump suddenly had a jump and the pill and the pillar hit right, hit his head and not only it killed him instantly but not only did it do that but only half of his body could be found in the wreckage Edward's driver and fireman were not killed but they were heavily damaged. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, they were injured. Anyway, a lot of wreckage had happened. Philip was getting Edward. Edward had scratches all over him. His tender was battered, coal was spilled, dust was spilled all over him, and his wheels and cylinders were mangled. He lay in the middle of the track near some of the pillars while Rocky was trying to pull him back up. He was next to a battered truck that was still in one piece, and over on the other side was Harvey and the breakdown, a br- one part of the breakdown train. The breakdown, oops, the breakdown train was pulling up the chassis of the other car Edward was pulling. Harvey was pulling up some of the track pieces, and the and the and the part bottom chassis was in some of the debris which was struggling to move butch was on the other side and was ta- oops the camera fell and was getting a car to be fixed there was also a crate in the middle of the area and track near it debris lie everywhere with pillars and all sorts of metal everywhere one track was covered in Wendell's fireman's blood, and it was a very disturbing sight for the engines. Philip had never been more terrified in his life. There, on, and soon as Rocky was, Rocky stopped lifting Edward for a minute. He quickly turned around and picked up a very battered green object that almost was completely destroyed. There. Put on the flatbed was Wendell. He was almost completely destroyed. One of his meals, wheels was missing. His cab was completely gone. His funnel was not even there. He, and his his face was unrecognizable. It was covered in dust and shards of red liquid trickled down it. With the scratches and dents on his boiler and with a huge cut slash into it and inside were a few pieces of debris and and scattered inside was was ripped clothes and blood. All over were scratches and cuts and heck marks. Wendell was almost completely destroyed. One of his wheels was gone, like I said, on the opposite side I pulled it off and 
and his couplet couplings and buffers one was missing and the rest were mangled bent down or bent up and the and he was completely destroyed and his front foot plate was gone philip uncoupled the car from rocky and wendell was pulled away to the works He coupled up back to Rocky. A few things had happened while Philip was gone. The two cranes were now working on Edward with rolling stock behind the crane, and Harvey just had disappeared, and no engines had been working there for a while because Harvey had went to deliver some of the, the cars. And soon he arrived back about two minutes later when Philip arrived. He saw Edward. Edward's boiler was slashed open, and... And rocks and different debris like metal pillars were on it. His paint was scratched up and coal dust was everywhere. His wheels were mangled and his buffers were bent. His scratches and cuts were all over his f- footplate, as well as a small few drops of blood. Oh, this stuff has a lot of blood in the story. Ew. Anyway, Rocky was carefully lowering Edward, and soon the other crane lowered its tender, and everything was done. There was still a lot of debris and other stuff. Why did I just say stuff? That is such a stupid word. Anyway, Harvey took the breakdown train and Edward away, while Philip took... Rocky away. What Butch kept himself hard work. There, were, there was a pile of pillars and metal bars all over on one side of the field, and on the other side was track cut with a with a mangled uniform hat into the into the sleepers. Anyway, Butch was remaining there, and then Harvey arrived with a flatbed, and Philip arrived with another crane just in case Harvey's hook couldn't work. And it proved that Harvey's hook couldn't work, as the car was a little too badly damaged for his hook to be able to hang on to, as he couldn't do it, and as it was a little too heavy for him. So Philip had, had the other crane, Carefully put the car onto the flatbed, and soon Harvey rushed away. What just? Oh. And Philip went away too. Butch sighed. It had been a very eventful day, and one he never wanted to think about. But come the following days, all the engines would think about this accident. Not only was a man murdered, but an engine may have have to be murdered, may have been murdered as well.